Hello guys, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, today I am going to show you guys my Happy Mail slash haul. This is going to be a very long video because I have lots to show you guys. Lots of fun goodies. And I want to give a special shout out to Danny Buttons, um, Ashley from Ashley's Coloring Journey, and Misty from Country Gals coloring place they sent me happy mail and I will show those to you and yeah I I have just pretty much one supply item but I was gonna show you guys I did take a trip to the dollar store today and I got a new mat for filming and then I saw this mat as well and I thought it was a cool design looks kind of like mandala and I thought Oh, this would be a good backup one. So I have two new mats for filming. So that way there is a background to our image or our background, I guess you could say. Um, so I have, I got these. I also got some stuff for glue booking that I'm not going to show, but, um, I did pick up some, um, things like I picked up one of these uh, wet and wild brushes to brush off the pencil after I do pencil work. I also picked up one of these little brushes. Um, you've probably seen lots of people use these on doing, um, sorry, I can't think tonight, it, the inking when you do distress inks. And I've also seen people to use these for gelatos. So I'm going to use this for gelatos. I'm going to try it. And for a dollar, why not, right? And then I also picked up some glitter. Let me grab them. These glitter markers. And as you can clearly see, they're not... Maybe you can see this one better. Maybe not. They're not super full. Like, they only go to here. The ink is only going to here. So all this is empty. So that's probably why they're a dollar. <laughs> so I got these colors here. We've got purple, green, blue, yellow, pink, and orange. And I like glitter, and I like to play with glitter markers, so... This will be fun for the minute of coloring with them. And then I also picked up some stickers for embellishing coloring pages or for art journaling or collage. These ones are really fun. They're just dots. They're rainbow. Here, these are super cute. I actually got two of these. They look like little balloon animals. And I just think they're really fun. And then this one is gummy bears. And they are textured. They're raised up. So they're 3D. And they are fun. They're fun. They say puffy on here because they're three-dimensional. So I got those at the dollar store. And first item that I'm going to show you is the supply item that I got on Amazon. So I got these. They're called Baoki. Um, they're double tip markers. There's 24 of them. And I believe these are still on Lightning Deal right now on Amazon. Because I purchased them on the Lightning Deal as well. And they are water-based markers. And on one end you have, let's see if we can focus that, a fine. And on the other is this nib. So this is the fine. And that one would have been, say, like the ultra-fine or nib. And I wanted to test these to see if they really, truly were... A water-based marker that didn't bleed through paper so I gave them the true test and tested them on Amazon paper in my little um, Hannah Lynn bullet journal that has Amazon paper here are the colors 
and I just went ahead and did little swatches here and here is the back so there is a little bit of shadowing this is gel pen that I just scribbled so this is um just a little bit of shadowing but it's not too too bad considering this page before was water-based markers as well so it, I think they'll work out pretty well and um they went down pretty pretty smooth and the fine liner worked just like any other fine liner that you may have seen Arteza's um Stabio's any of those kind of things so yeah and one of them was like a highlighter so it's kind of fun to get something new and different that you haven't tried before I'm hoping to try these in my romantic country and I hope that they don't bleed through to the next side so we will see um, now I'm going to get started with my epic book haul slash uh, Happy Mail. I will do that Happy Mail first. This first book right here is Nice Little Town ABC. This was gifted to me by the lovely Danny Buttons. And this is uh, by Tatiana Bogima Stalova. And I have colored a page in here already, just so you guys can see what you can do in this book. Obviously, I have done A, and I'm going to try to do these in order, just alphabetical order, basically. And I tried to keep the color palette like apples, like the Granny Smith apple, the Red Delicious apple, and so on. And then I added some uh, gold to that one topper right there and some yellow obviously because almost every picture I ever do if you guys ever see them have has yellow in it it's like my signature color so yeah and I'm just going to kind of show you some different pictures they're basically little houses with um, the letters of the alphabet in them And that J has bricks in it. How fun is that? N. There is no duplicates in this. It is Amazon printed paper. It does have the black back, so you can use alcohol markers. You could use pencils too. This one actually has some people. Look at their swimming. That's a really cool one. That one looks like a theater. And if you want a full flip of this book I would be happy to do so any of the books that I show um, just leave a message in the comments and I will be happy to do a full flip but I'm not going to do a full flip on this video since there are so many books I want to show you guys so that was nice little town ABC's the next one is this one and this one just arrived today and this one was gifted to me by Misty from Country Gals Coloring Place. Thank you, thank you, Misty. I love it. This is called um, Lacey Sunshine's Hocus Pocus Coloring Book. Um, over 30 Magical Images Color by he Heather Valentin. And I like to tape my little things right here so I know who they're from. I haven't colored in this one yet just because I got it today but I wanted to include it in this video, but look how cute. I, I love these kind of images with these cutesy big eyed girls. Some of these are more fall. Some of them are more of like a Halloween type of thing. You could go really out and color one of these on Christmas colors if you wanted to. So I got this book and I was slipping through and then I ran across a page, I think was an error. This one. This doesn't look like Heather Valentin's work to me. I mean, she does all these cutesy type of things. And this just is like the odd one out. You see what I mean? But that's okay. <laughs> I didn't see a full flip on this book on Amazon, or sorry, on YouTube. And I just kind of took a chance with the small pictures that they had on the back. 
But yeah, that is that one. And this is Lacey Sunshine's Hocus Pocus coloring book. And I absolutely love it. Thank you, Misty. And then the next one. Trying to get kind of out of order. So bad at that. Keeping things in order. Is this one. This was another Happy Mail. This is from Ashley from Ashley's Coloring Journey. She is new to YouTube. And she sent me this book. And I think it. I think it's because I had sent her a book a while ago, and I really appreciate it. When I saw this come out, I'm like, oh, how adorable is that? I love all the nice little town books with the little mice. I just think they're adorable. And this one's Halloween, so it's perfect for the upcoming season. And well, I haven't colored page in this yet, but I do plan to color something very, very soon. As you can clearly see, we've got the little houses, but we've got the Halloween elements to the houses. And if you've seen her actual Halloween book, it's like she's taken some of those elements and kind of thrown it in, kind of mixed it with a, a nice little town book. Look at this, so cute. Yes, I love it. Thank you so much, Ashley. I really do appreciate this. And I appreciate all appreciate every Happy Mail item when people send me things. I absolutely love it. It brightens my day every single time. Thank you. Now for the the haul, guys. Uh, so you're you're probably thinking, "Holy cow, how many books does she have?" So it was like a deal, a deal, a deal, and then Book Outlet had like a super killer deal and it just all kind of landed together in at the same time. So I'm eager to show everything here. First, I'm gonna start off with the Amazon ones. I have Dreamlings 3 by Edwina McNamee. Now this one I had been eyeing for a long time I do have Dreamlings 2 on PDF, and I love the images in that one. And so I finally decided to get Dreamlings 3. And she does images on white paper. And on the back half, it's the same images, but with black. So this has black backing or black framed, I guess you could say. Look how cute that is. And all of these, the white ones don't have black backing, the black ones do. And so that is Dreamlings 3. And here is the back, it looks the same as the front. Next one. I have here is uh, Disney Princesses Dot Lines Spirals Coloring Book. And here is the back. I have not had a chance to color in this one yet, but I do love Disney and I have not, like I, I recently just um, tried one of these books and I'm trying to get into them because I think they're really fun just for relaxation coloring. So we've got like dots, lines, more lines, dots again. And these are just the Disney princesses. I'm trying to find a spiral for you guys. There's a spiral right there. Another one. So I haven't colored in this one yet but I am eager to color it it's kind of fun to color them and find out who's inside especially the spirals because I can't tell until I'm totally done 
next one I have here is this one, which is a Kawaii Halloween, a super cute holiday coloring book. And I think this is by Just Too Kawaii. No, Mindful Coloring Books. I apologize. And here is the back. It gives you kind of little like thumbnails of what is inside the book. I did color a picture in this book, just so you guys could see. Um, I have used my Crayola permanent markers for this. That's kind of like a Sharpie marker. And the background is actually just Crayola twistable black crayon that I smoothed out with a little bit of Gamasol so you couldn't see any lines. And I think it's really cute. But here are some of the images. Very Halloween. And they do give you samples. Like here are some bookmarks in the back that you could color. Here is a sample of the Kawaii Fashion one, which I do have. Um, there is one of the cute baby animals that they do. So basically, they just give you some free images on the back to entice you to buy more of their books. So I also got this one with the princess one. This one's Disney characters, waves, dots, lines, and spirals coloring book. And I did do one of the spirals, which was my very first spiral. And so I will show you. If you can tell me who this is, leave it in the comments. I'm pretty sure it's Anna off of Frozen. But if I am wrong, please tell me who it is because I was tripping out because I kept on going in and out, in and out, trying to figure out who it was. And I know my Disney characters, it's just sometimes the Disney characters start to look very, very similar. So I did this one and then I also started, um, I started this one, which you can obviously tell is Tinkerbell. So this is the dots. That one is Ursula, you can tell. But there's another spiral. There's some line ones. I basically got these books to pretty much practice because Spiroglyphics is coming out with a Disney Villains one in November. And that one's a little more expensive. And I wanted to practice with one of these cheaper versions of books just to see if I even liked it before I invested in something more expensive. So that is this one. Next one I have here is a Chibi Girls coloring book. Uh, the Anime Color by Number by Color Questopia. This is one of their new releases. Here is the color key on the back. So you can match the colors or you can go off of what you think the color represents in your mind. And I will, I haven't done any yet in this book, but you can clearly see all the colors are listed here, one through 17 on this particular page. And look how cute. And if you guys have been with me for a little while, you can tell that I do like chibi style, big eyed girls to color. And so this was right up my alley and it's fun to do color by number. So yeah, I am excited. I want to color in one of these. I'm not sure if I will color in the lines first or what I want to do. But this will be lots of fun. She has a dragon. How cute is that? It's the cover. There you go. And then you notice this one in the cover. They've colored the hair, but they've kind of shaded it. So I think it might be fun to color it with the initial color and then take a darker hue and shade elements to kind of make it pop more. It might be fun to try that. The next one I have here was this one. Um, this one was a pre-order 
and I am a big fan of Camellia Derricos and this is the cute and creepy coloring book I'm sure many of you guys have already seen this book if you follow a lot of my fellow youtubers and here is the back because I believe the UK had this released before the US and has a very thick paper and they're basically they're double-sided but I do know that her paper does take water media well as long as you don't douse it with water then you're good so it's creepy but not so creepy that I'm freaked out like I think that's a cute spider I don't think he's creepy that kitty with a pumpkin on his head it's fun lots of lots of fun images in this one the next one I got um, is this one that is actually a new artist that I stumbled across on and this is called uh, Cutie's Attack, a book designed for coloring. And I believe the name of the artist is Queenie Wong. Here is the backside, kind of gives you thumbnails of what is inside the book. And it contains 30 images in here. And starts off with the girl on the cover. And basically we have the anime chibi style characters that I really enjoy coloring. I think I can have a lot of fun in this book. I could keep it simple or I can go crazy and go to town. And the backgrounds are pretty plain, so... I can do whatever I want. And that is Cutie's Attack. I got another one from her, which is um, Girls in Ancient Asian Fashion. So this is more, more uh, anime. It's not as cutesy, but it's still a very beautiful book. And here is the background. So I actually was looking at Japanese coloring books and this one popped up as one that I might like. So I thought, oh, I'll take a look at it. And we have all these Asian girls that are just beautiful. I was actually surprised I haven't seen this more Considering so many people like the Japanese coloring books and the Chinese coloring books. Very, very cute. And the hair is kind of sketchy, which gives it texture, so you wouldn't need to shade it if you didn't want to. And that is that one. The next one I have here is Cute Pets and Animals coloring book by Drawn or Draw Tinsel. So I actually saw this book, I believe on John, the Bibliophile Colorist's channel. He was showing his book collection a while ago and he had this book. And I thought it was really cool because the background is kind of mosaic tile, but yet we have um, images of things you can color. And on the back, obviously we have thumbnails and there's 27 illustrations in this book. I have not colored in this one yet. It does have the black back. And as you can clearly see, the animals aren't um, mosaic to out. Like they don't have, they're not broken up in chunks. It's just the backgrounds, which is really fun. It kind of gives this stained glass appear that little piglet he's so cute cute 
all. <laughs> I haven't like really flipped through these all myself, so these are some surprises for me as well. The next one I have here is a new release by um, Sun Life Drawing. I was like, I know the name. <laughs> this is a stained glass color by number. And this is Little Witches. And here is the back, which has the color palette, 1 through 22. And all of um, Sun Life Drawing's color pal palettes are the same. So you can keep that for future reference. And they have the black on this particular book. And the list of the colors are on the side that apply to this picture. And they list the colors that are on there. I think they use the 22 color palette for every single picture in this book. If I remember right. And I love that mice book that they did. So I was pretty excited to see this one because this love coloring these they don't take that much of a thought process you can just straight color them get them done fairly quickly and it feels very rewarding to finish a page within an hour but lots of fun um halloween witches coloring book The next one I got is a big one. <laughs> so this one was released by Coloring Book Cafe not too long ago. They actually released a few mandala books. And I was going to get the, I think it's called Ethnical Mandalas, because it was on sale for $3.99, what they do for their new releases. And then I came across this one, which says $125. Now, if you guys are familiar with Camellia Angel Kova, you know she has the hundred mandala books, and those are pretty thick things. So I thought, I wonder if this one's any good, because this one is listed at $6.99, guys. So this is a very good deal, and look how thick this book is. That is a thick book. And I did color one of these for you guys to show you. And it turned out beautiful. I did it fall colors. And this is colored pencil. I've used some gel pen and a little bit of alcohol marker. And I think it turned out wonderful. And I, I do like that the mandalas are centered in the middle of the pages. And there's like a variety of different kinds like a mandala of all seasons, basically. So you can just pick what you're in the mood for. And this is 125 mandalas adult coloring book by Coloring Book Cafe. And here is the back. And they've given you little sample pictures of what you can find inside this book. Obviously, I'm not going to do a full flip on that. It would take forever. <laughs> Next one I have here is Autumn Magic, and this one is by Edwina McNamee as well. She did the, um, the Dream Lanes book, and I thought I don't have very many Autumn books, and I am doing co-hosting, um, sorry, I'm co-hosting fall frenzy 2020 with ashley from ashley's coloring journey right now for the month of september to do fall pages and you can use the hashtag for um facebook or instagram so i thought i needed to get bo a book that i can do some more fall work in that wouldn't take incredible amounts of time and i decided to get this so she has the black back pages in the back just like her other books. And then we go into a turkey, perfect for Thanksgiving, the um, white pages. Very cute, very whimsical. Little hedgehog, cute. Little fox, that one would be pretty easy to color. 
Oh, how cute is that little witch hat? If you had stickles, you could go crazy on that one. And this is a fun, like, pattern, symmetrical pattern page. But yeah, this one is called Autumn Magic. And here is the back. It's like the back of a jar with pumpkins on it. Next one I have here is this one. Um, I think this one is still on sale. It was on sale for $4, $4.97, for for something on Amazon. It's called Fairy Coloring Book, um, Companions Coloring Book by Selena Fennick. Here is the back. This is her line art version. She does have a grayscale version, but this one was the one that was on sale. I was trying to stick to just things that were on sale so that I could explore basically the on sale items. And I do like to color line art as well, so. Doesn't that look like a little Yoda? Or something? And I have used water media on her papers. It will buckle the paper, but it doesn't go through, like, it doesn't destroy the paper. You just need to be a little careful. And there, I believe there's duplicates in this book. All of her books have duplicates in them. And the last one from Amazon is this one. Very simple, very cute. It's Daisy Joy's Little Witch's Coloring Book. Here is the back. We've got some little preview thumbnails. And I will start flipping a little bit. They have black backing to them. Cute little witches doing different things. Very fitting for Halloween. So plenty of witches to do stuff and in her book she gives you these thumbnails in the front right here that you could actually test your color palette on before you go into the big image if you're curious and she actually gives you that color testing for every single page that's in the book and then in the back of her books she gives you a uh, check out our coloring books thing where she gives you brief samples of other coloring books. So she gives you like really tiny ones, um, one that would be manageable to color, and a really big one. Just quote one. And then there's also color charts in the very back. So that is a very nice, very good coloring book. Now to our book outlet portion of the video. I'm going to pause it and start a new record so that we can get it. Okay, I'm back. That took like two seconds. <laughs> so I'm going to start the book outlet haul. And if you guys um, aren't familiar with book outlet, book outlet, um, they have books on there that may have been um, from stores that were not sold like they're discounted books because they could have a scratch or dent or they have marking on the bottom I'll show you once I show you a book but they take a book that may have been $7.99 and they strip it down to a price like $3.99 $2.99 things like that so it makes books very affordable for people on a budget. So if you are new to the coloring world and you want to have more than five books, try going to Book Outlet and see if you like any of the books that they have. They periodically change from time to time. So I got this one, which is Lost Ocean. And as you can tell, there's a little bit of scuff marks on the top. And it has a red mark right there. But other than that, it is in good shape. 
And the original price of this book is $16.95 in the U.S. And the price that I did, it doesn't say on my receipt. But I know I did not pay that much. I paid a lot less than that. And if you guys haven't seen Johanna Basford's Lost Ocean book, I'll give you kind of a brief. So everything in here has to do with the ocean or sea life. And by having this, it actually completes, actually pretty much completes my Johanna Basford collection. I know not everyone, this is not their favorite, but I I wanted to take a stab at it because I like to try new things. The next one I got was um, Johanna's Christmas. And I do have this book. You guys probably saw it in my coloring collection video. I wanted to get a new copy because Mine was a previously owned copy, and there were several pages that other people had colored in it. And I was just kind of dealing with it, but now that I have a brand new crisp copy, I can give that one to like my daughter or something, and I can color this one this upcoming Christmas season. And these are all one-sided except for that one. <laughs> but you can see that the backing looks like that. I actually like that they're one-sided. That way you can use alcohol markers or not worry about bleed through. Look at all that candy. That one must be one that opens up big. Yeah, gingerbread houses. Lots of Christmas elements that you could just go to town and if you guys aren't unaware of Johanna Bassford's books, the paper is excellent. The next one I got here is going to be a surprise for me because I have no idea what's going to be in this book, guys. I like literally just opened this box and I have never seen a flip through of this particular book. It's called American Road Trip. And it's by Michelle and Brian Shar Sharky Vaught. Color Your Way Calm from Coast to Coast. Here is the back. It gives you the map of the United States. And here we go. Already loving the fact that it is one-sided. Um, paper, not as thick as Johanna's but better than uh, Amazon paper, for sure. Is Manchester in the trailer? That's Alabama. Kind of looking through it the first time here. Be kind of fun to color these as and figure out where it's supposed to be Atlantic City. Burlington, Vermont, with all the leaves. Here we have Bloomington, the big things of corn, and obviously we're out of focus. There we go. Here we have Madison, mobile library on there, Minneapolis. So we have some major cities here. There's Las Vegas, Flagstaff, Arizona. So lots of fun ones. Sorry, I'm flipping through so many. Just curious what what's inside. So this is American Road Trip, which I believe you can get on Amazon, but it's like super pricey. And so if you're interested, I would suggest going to Book Outlet because I know they had still had copies last time I looked. And the next one 
is this one. It's a Zen Doodle coloring book, Baby Animals on Parade. And this is by Jeanette Wummel. I saw this one on Shana um, from Colorland's uh, YouTube channel. And I thought it was really, really cute. And here is the back. I do own the baby animal safari that she has done. And these pages, I believe, are perforated. Yeah, you can pull these pages out if you want. This one is a lot thinner than the, the, uh, the baby safari animals. But it's still better than Amazon paper. How cute. My two favorite animals, panda bear and a seal. Cute. Oh, <laughs> look at those guys. So, so cute. But yes, baby animals on parade. Zen Doodle Coloring, Jeanette Wommel. Next one I have is this one. I had been seeing it on a lot of channels and I've been eyeing it for a long time because I like steampunk. So this is kind of storybook like. It's called The Search Up for the Light Bulb Burglar by David, I think it's his Hambian. Apologize if I said that wrong. Color on high quality one sided perforated premium art paper. Now this book is really nice. There's texture to the cover and it says a steampunk, steampunk coloring book mystery and it is a thick book guys. Here is the back and you can even see the thickness in the pages. That this would take watercolor very nicely. This is cool. This is one of those books that you might have to take the pages out. But I don't know. We'll see. Look at all those light bulbs just practicing coloring a light bulb. Could practice doing a building there. And there's no actual story written anywhere. But as you're flipping through, you can kind of guess how the story is going. That just keeps on going out of focus. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to... How come this just doesn't want to focus for us? Sorry. I'm hoping that it will fix itself here. Might have to pause the movie and start over if it won't focus for us. Sorry, it just kept coming out of focus, and I don't want you guys to have to look at a book that's unfocused. And there is that one. So that is The Search of the Light Bulb Burglar. And I have actually seen a lot of people color really cool things in this book. The next one that I got here is another Zen Doodle. And this is Baby Forest Animals by Jeanette Wommel. And same paper as that um, parrot parade one. But these are all forest animals, which is very fitting for fall. Look how cute that is. You could do fall leaves. That would be a very pretty fall picture. Cute little hedgehog. And these are really fun to do in like Sharpies and permanent markers. That was that one. The next one I have here is Color by Number Stained Glass. And obviously it was at Walmart, got sent back. I did not pay $11.18, paid a lot less than that. I think it was like two bucks by Deborah Muller. Here is the back. I like stained glass, and since it's color by number, I thought it might be fun. And you can tear these pages out when you're done, frame them, do whatever you would like. And I'm trying to find where the color chart is. 
Maybe it's on the back. Yes, it's right there. So you can flip to any page and have the color chart handy. So that is a very convenient flip out. Sorry for the wobble. The next one is this one. Now, this one is different. And when I saw it, I was like, that's a coloring book. But then I kind of read a little bit about it. And then I actually saw a flip through of this particular book. And this is very, very expensive on Amazon. And it is one of these books where you color it basically by layers. And you pop them out. It's like a pop out. And so we we'll color all these things. And after you colored all of them, you display it like kind of like a diorama or rama 3D color scape. Look through. So you would look through there and you would see the different layers that you have colored here. I thought this would be a really fun little project to try especially with my kids going back to school and I thought this might be something fun I could just kind of work a little bit at a time and then as I finish one I could put it all together and it would be very pretty I think there's different stories so we have Romeo and Juliet is in here and the Nutcracker so very famous um ballets yeah, so that is Ballerina Theater 3D Colorscapes. Color and create your own 3D beautiful scenes. And they also have Magical Forest. The next one I have is this one. I love Christopher Hart. He does such great anime and great chibi style stuff. This is called Girl Power. Um, I do have the Christmas one and the other one. I think it's just called Girls. Here is the background. So if you, this one, I have this one, the girls one. And he does a lot of drawing books. So if you're interested in drawing chibi and anime, um, look him up and he does a lot of um, books that teach you how to draw this type of style, which is cool. And he also, um, I believe he has a, a YouTube channel that you can see different things too. And here we go. They are one-sided images. All anime style. This is perfect for Halloween. Look at all those spider webs. Very cute. She is like dancing in the rain. There's some girls being silly. Lots of fun. And if these backgrounds are too distracting for you and you just want to practice coloring the girl per se, you could black out these backgrounds or you could just color them straight with one color or do, do a wash of a color like a acrylic wash over it. And that would be perfectly fine too. Because I know, like this seems really busy, but you don't have to color every single thing on a page. Look at that cute witch. She's cute. Very, very cute. And this is girl power. Now, the last books are going to be really difficult to fit into frame. They have all of the color quest books on there. I don't know if they're on there still. So this is the Cityscapes. They're um, 30 Extreme Challenges to Complete in Color. They are color by number and they're big. So that is horizontal guys. That is a big book. Let me just show you the difference uh, compared to this Christopher Hart one. You see that? It's a big book. And this one is kind of dusty. 
Oh, he's been in their storage for a long time. You can't see what's on these at all. And they have the color palette right there on the side. And I have seen these done. They look really cool colored. I got the Cityscapes. I got the original Color Quest. So this one has animals in it. And I think it's not just animals. There's some other things. And I think the back. The back tell you. Oh, yep. The back gives you the images that are in there. If you're curious. So I got the original Color Quest. And then the Color Quest animals. All of them are giant. <laughs> All of these, I think, no, this one's by John Wood Woodcock. This one's by Joanna Webster. And that one's by John Woodcock. So, give you a sneak peek of the animal one. Sorry, I can't like fit it all in frame, but I am excited because I I really wanted these books, and I'm excited to get them. So that is it, guys, for my coloring book haul, Happy Mail supplies for um, this video, and I want to thank you guys for watching the video. And if you stuck through to the end, woohoo, good job for you guys. And if you saw any of the books that looked at all interesting to you and you would like a link, let me know. I will try to get a link for you. There were several books, so I will not be putting it in the description. That would make a very, very long description. And I'm not sure if all of them can be found on Amazon since some of them came from Book Outlet. And if any of them you want to see a full flip, please let me know as well. And if you're interested in any of these books to do a color along, say you have that book and you would like to, not a color along, a buddy color. If you want to do a buddy color in any one of these books, say you own one of these books with me, just message me on Instagram. I would be happy to do a buddy color with you. And I also want to thank again those three lovely ladies that sent me those Happy Mail. I really appreciate it, and I love those books. I appreciate all Happy Mail that gets sent to me. Never required. Always appreciated. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe. Love you guys. See you next video. Bye.